The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, that's right, it's already the Thanksgiving holiday week. And if the old wind machine would just take it easy for a couple of days, there's some really good fishing opportunities to be had, as I'll discuss in just a minute. But first, I want to remind subscribers that the December issue of the Fisherman Magazine is out this week, and it is the final printed magazine of 2016. In this issue, we have our annual holiday gift guide with a ton of great gift-giving items for that special fisherman in your life. And this comes just in time to hit those Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales at your local tackle shop. There's also a feature outlining the winter mini travel options of blackfish and tuna along the mid-Atlantic coast, as well as some great local features, so be sure to check it out right now. All right, moving on to the reports, we're going to start, as always, in Connecticut, where I got word that some sea herring have already begun to pop up down in Norwalk Harbor, according to the guys of Fisherman's World. Now, this should signal at least, I don't know, a month or two, roughly, of good fishing for these uh, winter visitors. And if you're looking to get an idea on how to target these fish, you can check out the article we've got at thefisherman.com or check out the December Hot Spot of the Month, which outlines this fishery in particular. And then earlier this week, I received a call from Captain Greg of the Blackhawk as he has been slamming a mix of sea bass, blackfish, scup, and cod out around Block Island. And he also wanted me to remind everyone that the boat is now sailing from Dodson's Boatyard in Stonington Borough. And he said it gets him to the southwest corner of Block in just barely over an hour. So it cuts a substantial amount of time off the travel from the usual port over in Niantic. And you know what? The weather looks pretty good end of this week into the weekend. So if you want to join him for some fishing, be sure to give him a call and reserve your spot. And over in Rhode Island, black fishing still remains a solid bet, but a lot of the anglers are starting to transition to cod. As those black fish are moving to deeper water, you're getting a much bigger mix of fish on the rock piles. And the Francis Fleet reports another week of, of somewhat improved catches on the cod, with many limits of black sea bass to be had mixed in with those cod as well. Now remember, the sea bass remains open in Rhode Island waters until the end of the year. So you'll need to get in on this bite sooner rather than later. If you delay too long, it's going to be just cod options after the first of the year. And speaking of cod, got an interesting one this week. Mike Wade of Watch Hill Outfitters reports that a few guys fishing the breachway of South County last week for striped bass and bluefish connected with some cod. So you just never know what that next drift might produce. Now, back in the 70s, it was pretty common to land some bruiser cod with fish up to in excess of 60 pounds being taken from the South County beaches. And if you're looking to get a little info on this fishery, check out Behind the Cod Story by Frank Daniel for a look at this forgotten but possibly re renewed viable fishery. And then lastly, up in Massachusetts, with the commercial tuna season closing a few weeks back and most of the bigger striped bass on their way out of the Bay State, anglers have been hitting the local lakes, ponds, and rivers and doing quite well on a mix of freshwater species. Trout fishing is always a great option this time of the year and the New England states all stock some extra trout in the fall. Why don't you check out Turkey Day Trout Time for a look at where you might score a Thanksgiving rainbow or brown to complement those turkey leftovers. All right, well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out into the water this week. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint and also brought to you by Maxima Fishing Line.